Hi, I am Hussain. I'm a senior transport modeler working at BTV Group. Today, I'm going to show you how to update your Bezo model and interactively look at the changes in the sim. I will start with a Bezo model that is used in the example directory. This is an SPA, a simulation based assignment model. We can look at the network and the junction type. So we can see that there are some traffic signals, some priority rules, and some uh, stop uh, junctions. So we will be zooming now at this specific junction, and we can switch to the simulation-based assignment view. Here we can look at the simulation as an animation of the uh, assignment. The signal timing is being defined, junction geometry as well. Now we can see the vehicles moving in an animation mode in the sim. The signal timing is changing from green to red depending on the signal configuration. This simulation can be presented for the entire network and it is very quick. Now for further analysis, I am interested in looking at specific junction and adjusting the geometry. And then I am looking at these changes, uh, these changes in the cell. To do that, I will start with one of the nodes or junctions in the model. I will activate my node layer and go to this node. I'll double click to go to the junction editor, geometry tab. So I can look at the lane configuration. I can also adjust my tab view to signal timing and look at the signal timing defined in this model. In case I want to change it, I can go to the attributes like cycle time, green time, offset, and adjust the timing. Now I will navigate to the junction editor toolbar and click on the VSIM node preview. Once I click on this icon, VSIM will automatically open and load a version file that contained this junction and few adjacent junctions. Now I can see my VSIM file loaded and it does contain few junctions around the junction I am interested in. I'll split my view put these two junctions next to each other. Now, I can see that all the lane configuration has been exported automatically from Weasel to Visim, including the lane configuration, signal timing, signal heads, and the conflict areas. I'll switch off the conflict area layer. And now I can adjust the lane configuration here by going to geometry and once I click on this link I can see the lane configuration that has been activated and at the same time this is updated automatically. At this location I have one lane that's going straight and it has a shared right turn what I'm going to do is close this movement. And Visim interactively will update this lane configuration to match it with the junction configuration that I have in Visum. So we have a right turn only here and we have a right turn only here. Previously, there was a connector that was going straight and it has been deleted. I can also look at any of the lanes here and automatically right click and for example create a detector. A detector will be added in VZoom. At the same time it will be added in VSIM. And as you can see on the right side VSIM is doing some re-importing and recalculation automatically and then it will load the updated network and add the new detector in the sim. 
I can keep adjusting my junction configuration as needed by adding either more lanes or activating them. The sim will take all these configuration in place and it will adjust them accordingly. So now I can see my detector exists in both version files. There is this detector with the port number one in this in vessel and the same detector in the sim. I can keep changing the configuration for other junctions as needed. And at the same time, I can run simulation in vessel and look at the serial timing in this junction. To do that, I can just click on run simulation here. The signal timing will be changing according to the signal control defined in piezo. I can also go to the uh, signal timing uh, timetable and I can show that and whistle by looking at the split between different cycles and also signal groups. This is a very uh, uh, useful procedure to adjust your visual model and look at the changes in visual before doing a final export. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to our PTV Mobility channel on YouTube. If you have any questions, please add them to the comment section below. To join our global community on LinkedIn, please join our PTV Zoom and Vissel LinkedIn forum on the link below. See you in the next episodes. Thank you.